Jonathan G versus Clompa. Good snake. All right. Got like a pyrethra. All right. Now we're going to see how this honestly. So one thing that Clam was doing. So we saw him play earlier. Clampa, yes. it was versus the um, the Inkling. And Inkling and Mithra kind of both are very mobile characters, you know? They will take, you know, zip, zap, zoop all over the place. <laughs> and it that seemed that trip. Clampa was able to play around that pretty well. Uh, so let's see if maybe just that ability to, you know, smooth himself will uh, lead to being able to um, just outspace the Pyra and the Mithra. And it'll be on Jonathan's part to not get hit by the explosions as they build off their approach game here. Oh, well, at least as minimal as possible, because the snake is at least going to get like, a couple explosions off. So finding the gaps right there and punishing accordingly to take stocks like this <laughs> is key here. What? As, what as even connected right there? That felt, that felt like it was a it, it comboed into it, it somehow. Was that like a grenade? Into yeah, it was smash? a grenade in the force. Ooh, the down B, she's light. Yeah. But going pyro would be even worse at the situation too because she's super susceptible to getting hit by every single explosive setup that Snake has to throw it. Good yeah, patience right there. We have not seen any pyro so far. But I mean, although I, I'd say that the disadvantage to that is so far we haven't seen um, Jonathan need it. But Mithra can struggle to kill, at which point normally that's when people switch to Pyra. So <laughs> let's see if this actually. Uh, ooh. Okay, this is good. See, not in the previous stock, I didn't see uh, Jonathan switch to Pyra for the ledge trapping abilities that she has. That's way better than Mithra, in my opinion. That probably would have been like the stock for them instead of like losing that stock. But it's good to see them switch to Pyra here in this situation, as Snake is. Well, whatever stakes off stage. Whoa, tech rolled in? Okay. Throwing it all away from that situation. Good tech. Good. Oh! oh! No! <laughs> Wait, doesn't... Did he hold down? Doesn't that normally snap the ledge on the way down? Yeah, they were just too far from him. Oh, build a 40. Decking Ooh. it all on the up B. He's not getting punished for it, though. Pampa... <laughs> so safely damage. throwing these grenades in, at the right range just to, just to build this damage. Really good stuff from them. Yeah, this is the sort of thing where, like, one more hit should do it. But also, Snake is getting at a high enough percent that it oh, might be worth switching back to Pyra. Oh, sorry, Mithra, rather. Never mind. Oh. No, say, so, yeah, you're the player. You know what you're doing. Just uh, play Pyra until you get that one hit that matters. And now we're seeing the Mithra once more. You know, needs to be getting some of that low percent damage racked up. Yes. Oh, Using that see. speed, too. She's one of the fastest characters in the game. The sword. <laughs> Oh, nice catch in the up B. Oh, now okay. it's not going to break the armor, but... Up till it was ready for you right when you came back. Hampa taking the first game. Yeah. Hmm. Good game plan from uh, from Clampa right there. Now, what extended Josh Jonathan just to get hit by this up tilt? I'm trying to see here. This is a really good force smash. I don't even know if there was an extension. He just ran into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I guess mean, they weren't begging on, on the clamp of landing that fast from the B. Just... Or perhaps they were expecting a shield of some kind, not an immediate counterattack. Yeah, I just ran into it. Yeah, dashing yeah. and blocking in this game is going to be like... Something you got to do like from further range, especially when the characters can recover as fast as Clampa did. Nice. All right, game be, two. Uh, yep, gonna be going back to PS2. I can I can see that. I think the the stage wasn't the issue right there. There's just some uh, some parts of the game plan that need to be fixed. Uh, what adjustments do you think really need to be made on Jonathan's part right now? Uh, as mentioned before, going meet uh, going meet through here is key and helpful to get an opening at least to at least. <laughs> <laughs> do this to Snake and just like blow him up for it and taking advantage of the edge guarding that you can do with Pyra. You can't stay on the ledge forever with that uh, big little pizza that she puts in the screen. And she can get kills it's a lot more easier and survive these explosions. Up that back here is going into yeah, it and switching. Yep. Yeah, switch back, switches back to Mithra. 
Uh, now that Snake is at lower percent, just to get some of that damage, avoid getting hit by a lot of the explosions, just being a faster character. Yeah. The speech is just breaking his own. A good text, by the way. Oh no, what a missed point. Oh, I think they were dead. I, I don't know how far like the up would have sent her, but she would have been very vulnerable to coming back from doing the up as they always are off stage. Uh, off stage. Wow, he even interrupted the explosion. Look how fast this character is. So, yeah, just straight up the outmaneuverability of this character against Snake is going to be key here. And also just dodging the explosion. This is like a lot of like... Oh, just don't... Oh! They didn't get stuff there. The so spacing so on that was so good. Wow, and actually getting the conversion. Jonathan doing a, honestly right there, great knowledge oh, of the character oh, and Snake's limitations. Just jumped at the exact height where down air wasn't going to connect and just Ooh. able to get as media punish as he needed. Look at all the damage they did. Now, <laughs> that damage, damage is oh. pretty rough for Clamp Up, but at the same time, if he's able to clean up this stock soon, Snake is a character that just loves having rage. <laughs> yeah. Like, he is fine right now. If he could take this next stock, he could turn this all the way around. Snake advantage or disadvantage. He will always prefer to have rage, but Jonathan was completely in control of that game and takes it. Yeah, and so that's going to Tying be it up 1-1. One, one. One. Do you think we're going to see a different stage for game three? Because both game one and game two were on PS2. I don't think so. Because going a, a, on a smaller stage with like platforms, like okay, maybe like a tripod would, would be beneficial, but like anything smaller than PS2 at this point would be like, you want to give her the stage like she can just kill you as me through it of all characters? I, I, also, <laughs> like, I would not well, take I mean, it <laughs> Maybe a smaller stage could mean putting them off stage earlier. True, true, true. Because, uh, like, of all things to have that's really bad for his characters, it's a really bad offstage game. Especially in Snake Standards, where he can just, like, shoot you for existing there. With Nikita and grenades. All set up. This just happens to... Fallen Snake to survive the aerial buttons that... Jonathan's ready to throw at him. Alright, game three. Jonathan may have the answer here, though. Going Mithra first, and then Pyro for the switch just to catch Snake on a disadvantage. Let's see if uh, Krampa can avoid uh, getting mauled down by, by Mithra over here. That was good patience right there. Grenade trades all day. Oh, the last hit of that is actually going to connect. And that pizza cutter on them. Nowhere to go to. They may have been able to, to move out of it though. It's multi hit. Oh, the, yeah. yeah. I'm strong enough to kill her. She's the Terminator. <laughs> She's and that was heavier. actually. Oh! I also love the idea of going oh, nice for that. <laughs> I love the idea of going for that C4 stick after the side B because she can't attack. She can shield, but she cannot attack. So that means that. Going for the C4 drop there is almost, I'm not going to say guaranteed, but it meant just to, it's pretty safe and effective thing to go for. Yeah. This stuff for Jonathan is just not falling for any sort of landing that Clamper was trying to think up there. If they did, that would have been like advantage being thrown away. Oh, big damage. Even taking it to them when they have the grenade in their hands, like so just, somehow their moves are just avoiding the, great, the grenade explosion, especially that side beat. Oh, they missed the sticky in the C4. Okay, good. Right. Didn't need it. Head up tilt. <laughs> Oops. Good recovery. Okay, staying in the air against this character. She's going to kill you. Oh, jeez. Down there's so huge. Covers so much space. Oh. Trying to box away at the situation. LB's gonna connect, they're not gonna kill, so it's still hefty, hefty. Oh, the forward tilt though. Oh, still not dead. Hefty. Big man. Oh, behind. Yeah, actually wound up behind that one, and now this could be huge. A possible edge guard. 
A uh, little bit of an Misses overextension, it. looking for like the really strong hit right there, and Jonathan able to get around it. We now have Jonathan once again on stage, landing up air is going to be doing it. Once more, switching to Pyro, just looking to get as much damage as possible on this last stock for Clampa. There's no more recourse here. He has to make it work. Otherwise, uh, he's going to have to be dropped into loser's bracket. Yeah. They're doing a good job keeping up here. It just has to depend on who's on the screen and how they're going to approach the game here. Because grenade play is going to be hard to do here with this character. But I feel like it's more easier if you get the chance to put yourself back in an advantage again against Pyro. Okay, she's punishable. But... There you go. Caught it on the second right. side. Do, do not let her blazing at you for free. She's super vulnerable. She, yeah, she can move, but she can't attack. She can't even grab. Yep. And for a lot of these blazing edges, 100% onto Clampa. Pretty scary, but still living. One more down there, though, will probably end up killing him. I mean, Jonathan realizing this is the safest way they could play a neutral with Pyro to somewhat get a advantageous spot so they can go for a kill here. Because at least I believe it's blocking the uh, the grenades for the most part. At least. Most part, yeah. Oh, the dash yeah. attack though, big button. Oh, did they jump in there? Oh wow, that's the sort of situation where I, I mean. Snake is a character that wants to hold on to his air dodge, but I do believe that air dodging men just usually helps keep you alive for a little bit longer. And it's... Yeah, let me look at that again. Also, this was such a good dash attack. Oh, they tried yeah. to escape. Yeah. Tried to dash backwards because, I mean, when you think about it, uh, Jonathan had basically been going for nothing but, uh, but like side beat. Had not been very aggressive, had not really been trying to chase him down and in that one instance all of a sudden 